Okay, in the divorce between Billy Rose and Eleanor Holmrose, Billy Rose is a famous actor. Eleanor Holmrose was a famous swimmer, Olympic swimmer. And this was in about the 1960s. This book was written about... Did I say 1960? I meant 1950s. This book was written in 1961, My Life in Court, by Louis Nizer. And he's talking about divorces and how messy they can get. Well, Billy Rose, Mr. Rose... Uh, wrote in an article a uh, really stinging um, portrayal of their lives. I want to read. Eleanor is absolutely right. Compared to me, Scrooge is a philanthropist. For instance, throughout our marriage, we lived in a five-story house on Beekman Place with only one lousy elevator. The furniture was second-hand, <clears throat> designed by Chippendale and other 18th century carpenters. The old crown derby plate she ate off had occasional cracks, and the antique Paul Store silver was once slobbered on by King George III. The pictures on the walls were horrors, the works of hacks like Rembrandt, Hals, Velasquez, and Renoir. During the summer, I made her rough it in a 30-room shack on Mount Kisco. This estate had only one swimming pool, only one tennis court, and a private movie theater with only one operator. On our private golf range, Eleanor had to play with repainted balls. When it came to servants, I really put my foot down. I refused to hire more than one butler, one cook, three maids, and two gardeners. What's even worse, Eleanor had only one personal maid and one personal laundress. She only got $17,000 pocket money a year, and I was downright mean when it came to motor cars. When she wasn't using the Cadillac, she had... The, to put up with a Buick station wagon. On some occasions, she even had to ride in a taxi. Her clothes were mostly rags, stitched together by cut-rate seamstresses like Hattie Carnegie and Valentina. And sometimes, poor Eleanor had to wear the same evening gown more than once. She only had 113 pairs of shoes, 41 sweaters, and 11 fur coats. I confess that at no time did I ever buy her an $80,000 sable. I was particularly penurious when it came to per winter vacations away from me. I never let her spend more than three months in Florida or Nassau. And when I took her on a trip around the world, I made her pay for her own postcards. When it came to jewelry... It was all last season stuff, 92 different pieces which contain, I'm ashamed to confess, less than 200 carats of blue-white diamonds. When she asked me to buy her the Hope Diamond, I trickily touted her off it by telling her it was bad luck.